Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add Google Analytics and Google AdSense to your Next.js project. Okay, so here I'm in Visual Studio Code with a fresh Next.js project. First thing we're going to want to do is if you head over to the docs, you'll notice that there's a GitHub button up here. So go ahead and click that. And that'll bring you to the Next.js GitHub page. So here they have a bunch of different examples. So as you can see here, and the example we want to grab is the with Google Analytics. So if we click on this, we can use this as a guide to integrate Google Analytics into our project. So the first thing we're going to do is work on this lib folder here, and it's gtag.js. So let's go back into our project and create a new folder called lib. And here, new file, gtag.js. Now what I'm going to do is come in here, copy all of this, and paste it into our file. So basically, this is initializing our Google Analytics. So you'll notice we have a variable here, ga underscore tracking underscore ID. And we need to replace this value here with our tracking ID. So let's go here, and what you're going to want to do is search for Google Analytics. And then that will bring you to this page here. Go in the bottom and hit admin. And on the admin panel, you're going to notice that you probably don't have any properties. Uh, properties are basically just projects you've created. I have a couple, but that's fine, because wh what we're going to do is hit create property. And this will bring us through a setup wizard to create a new property or a new project. So we're going to click web, continue. Here it wants to give you a website name. So here I'm just going to say next.js Google Analytics and AdSense example. For website URL, so for now, I'm just going to say example.com. Industry category, we'll just click one, doesn't really matter. And the time zone, I'll just change this to uh, my time zone. Here we go. We'll hit create. And there we go. So it brings us to this page. So basically what you need to do is for most websites, copy all of this and paste it in every page that you want to track. But we're not going to use this for Next.js. All we want is this tracking ID here. So go ahead, copy your tracking ID, and come back here and paste it there. OK, so that is the first of three files. Now if we go back to the example, let's hop into the pages directory. And there are two pages we want here, or two files app.js and document.js. So back in our project, we already have an app.js created for us, which is fine. So let's go back here, open this up, and just copy all of this. And we're just going to replace everything. OK, there we go. So a couple of things are happening here. We're importing our g tag from this file here. So we're importing all of that. And then what we're doing is we are using this use effect here to basically handle all of the root changes and track that. And then this is our page props. So this is whatever page they're on will be passed in here. OK, so that's step two. The last step is this document.js file. And this will handle all of the actual tracking and as you see the script right here that's going to be copied and basically pasted here so let's go ahead and create our file underscore document dot js now again we're just going to copy all of this just like that and there's no need to change anything because everywhere where the unique tracking id is is a variable and we're grabbing that from the import statement. So if you want to change your tracking ID for any reason, you only need to change 
this string right here. So these are the three files. Okay, and that's looking good. And that is all you need to do to add Google Analytics to your project. Now to add Google AdSense to your project, we only need to add one line. So to add AdSense, you're gonna to want to go and set that up, same way we did Google Analytics, search for Google AdSense, go through the wizard, and then you're gonna get, at the end of that, one script tag, and that will be this script tag here. And this value will probably be different for you, but everything else, all this should be the same. So you can just add that the script tag right in the head. And because this is in the document file, this is loaded for every page. So that will allow you to place ads on every page of your site. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned how you can integrate Google Analytics and Google AdSense into your Next.js site.